Water. It's the very essence of life as we know it. We in California have gotten used to having easy access to water each and every day, even though many of us live in areas that are hot and dry in the summer. We rely on a network of local, regional, state, and federal water projects that bring water to our taps from streams and rivers that are far away or deep under the ground. This video is designed to give you a basic understanding of where Morgan Hills water comes from, how it is used, and what you might do to use it more efficiently. All of the water delivered by the city's water system to homes, schools, and businesses is groundwater. Each and every drop is pumped up from the ground, disinfected for safety, and then piped to those who use it. Water samples are taken frequently and tested by certified labs to ensure all of the water delivered to the city's customers meets or exceeds the water quality standards set by the state and federal governments. This is one of our local wells. The city operates 15 wells throughout the city. Each well pulls water into the city's water system from an aquifer hundreds of feet below the surface. Once the water reaches the surface, chlorine is applied to disinfect the water and make it suitable for drinking. Each of these wells requires a large amount of electricity to operate. In fact, about 80% of the electricity used by the Morgan Hill City Government is associated with delivering drinking water to local residents. Statewide, water production and delivery accounts for nearly 20% of all electricity used in California. Once water is pumped from the wells, it enters the city's distribution system. Some of the water is pumped up to hillside reservoirs or tanks, which provide both storage and pressure to the entire system. This tank can hold 4 million gallons of Morgan Hill water. The residents and businesses of Morgan Hill may use more water in any given year than the local rains and runoff would provide to recharge the underground groundwater reserves. Therefore, the Santa Clara Valley Water District buys water from the state and delivers it to the Morgan Hill area in a pipeline. This is the San Luis Reservoir, which is next to Highway 152, where the state stores the water before it is purchased by the district. This is water that is pumped from the California Delta. Water supply problems occurring in the Delta may continue to limit the state's ability to make water available to the district. Once the water reaches Morgan Hill, the district uses recharge ponds and channels to temporarily hold the water until it infiltrates into the ground to replenish groundwater. Morgan Hill's supply of water has faced three different types of threats in recent years. The most noticeable threat is the dry winters we occasionally experience. A second threat is the instability of water deliveries from the Delta. Due to the ecological damage caused by the huge Delta pumps, lawsuits have resulted in reductions and curtailments in Delta pumping. The last threat to our water is industrial contamination. The city has recently spent millions of dollars removing contaminants from the groundwater before delivering it to customers. Our community depends on having an adequate supply of water both indoors and out. Imagine what life would be like without an abundant supply of water. Here are some things you can do to reduce your use of water. The easiest first step is to sign up for a WaterWise house call from the Santa Clara Valley Water District. Residents taking advantage of this free service get a district representative to come to their homes to analyze their water use and get expert advice on the best ways to become WaterWise. In addition, here are some basic WaterWise strategies for you to consider. Set your irrigation timer to water in the early morning hours. Use a broom to sweep down your walkways and driveway. You'll get some exercise and save water in the process. Take your car to a local car wash instead of washing it yourself. Car wash facilities treat and recycle their water. Make sure your faucets have aerators and that your home's toilets are free of leaks. Visit the conservation page at www.valleywater.org for more ideas and information about programs available for Morgan Hill residents. Thanks for doing your part to make our water last.